Many have been asking for Zoe to use the 3360 sensor, and now they have with the ECB series. Now there is the EC2B and EC1B. This is not going to be a full review. If you want to know if the EC series suits you, then you can watch the Zowie EC white review. I'll leave the link in the description. That will tell you the weights, dimensions, and suitable hand sizes. Now let's look at some differences. Here's the EC1A and EC1B. The scroll wheel is now black, so it no longer lights up, but it's still 16 steps. The main buttons and shape are the same, but the side buttons seem a bit better, more of a click. They don't feel as soft. Here's a listen. On the base is where we see another change. They now have a button for polling rate. They've also changed the mouse feed to be smaller. Some say that this could make it easier to move. I tried to test if less surface area meant less resistance, and by feel, I thought maybe it was true, and the initial results of this super scientific test seemed to confirm it. But the more testing I did, the less obvious it seemed, and the more I realized I still couldn't prove it either way. Maybe it's placebo. Maybe weight and feet material is more of a factor. Maybe this test wasn't good enough. I also did one where they slide down a mouse pad. Again, it was a draw. So right now, I'm thinking it's placebo. Tested in-game for responsiveness, I couldn't really tell the difference. So I'd be happy to play with either, but maybe someone with better equipment can test these more. As for the sensor, with the new 3360 against the 3310, the biggest difference should be the tilt slam test. On the 3310, it is fairly easy to make it lose track, if you put it on its side and then slam it down. On the new versions though, with the 3360, no such problem. Now, for most people, and for me personally, this has never been an issue, so I wouldn't let this be a deciding factor for you, unless you actually do have a problem with the mouse spinning out. And looking at the sniper test, I can't see a difference, and in game, I can't feel a difference either. I'm happy to use 3310 or 3360, or even 3988, 3330, Hero, or Mercury. The top opticals are great, but I use the Zowie FK2 with the 3310, and I'm more than happy with it. If sensor was actually that big a deal, I should be using the Logitech G Pro over the FK2, but I'm not, because shape, weight, and balance affect aim more than the sensor in this case. Also, even with the 3360, it appears to have stayed with the steps of 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 dpi. As always, the line test helps show how similar the sensors are. To conclude, while I would like to see better side buttons and scroll wheels, and of course buttons separate from the shell, that's for the main left and right, it's good to see that Zowie are at least trying the 3360. At this stage, I can't see any reason why they wouldn't continue to use the 3360, even just for peace of mind. At least you don't have the tilt slam issue. It also seems to work better on more surfaces, like a white desk. The dark wheel is good, but I can't see if the feet are any better. I'm fine with either. Overall, I am going to recommend the ECB from now on, but that's simply because of the sensor. Do you need to upgrade? I would say not unless the tilt slam is a problem. Or maybe you just want to send a message to Zowie that you really want the 3360 sensor in their mice from now on. Hope that helps, and if you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave the usual links in the description. Special thanks to Zowie for sending these out for review, and as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.